are two different things. You as a person and your work or your technology. Empowerment is a process. Transform, engage. And what are the underlying concepts and rationality behind this? There's the concept of time. From the present to future. The concept of movement. They said flow peak. In your life, you have the flow peak. Now you're, you're assured of the minimum viable things that you can do in, in, in a day that leads you to where you want from to. A concept of progress. Then you say old to new. Or a concept of degree. When you said from light low to high. And a concept of change and empathy to this, this to that. So everything has to change. If you think you're just staying on one phase of life, then there's something wrong. Because life is a flow peak. It's a flow. Irregardless whether you'd be uh, encountering bad things, happy things along the way. But it has to flow. Transform and engage. It's about from present to future. Very simple world, transform and change. But it's not just about accepting change. It's about involving with that change. Engage. So how do we do that? While we transform, we engage. And it came from the simplest to the highest level. The simplest level is the format. You have your present formal. For example, the students. What's your present format? You're a student. You're a civil engineering student. And from this format that you have right now, perhaps the life plan has something to do about being a civil engineer in the future. Because that's your present format. But you see, you can always reformat and mutate. Have that picture of the format you want and have the picture of the new DNA that you want. You commit and bind, you write. You commit to yourself, you bind, or perhaps you can join a master class. Um, I, I have one, um, we call it mastermind class, wherein we have a mentor, Filipino-Australian businesswoman, who said like-minded people should, should meet together so that they commit even if they don't have something to do with your business, no? Sometimes it takes one person to commit with so that you can have somebody who said, oh, this is what I want. This is my reformatting of my life and I will bind myself and commit. Because if you have a mastermind class, you meet every Friday, then every Friday, you feel so ashamed of not reporting any progress. So you, 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 you do, you move. Once you have the kind of reformatting that you want, as I said, no flow peak, it flows. We level up and upgrade. Leveling up, upgrading is about specializing. It's about gaining. You're better than this yesterday. And you execute that specialization. A specialization does not happen over time. A specialization happened in a long time. And thus, you have to make a decision so that you can start. Level up, upgrade. And you can discern that, that it's a level up of your previous one. Next, you catalyze and evolve. No, palagi continuous na siya. No? You catalyze your work. And to know that you're really engaged in that kind of transformation. Validate. 
have measures and control. In my case, sometimes I have to validate what I'm doing by having a demo with other people, talking with other people and trying to get their views. You do measure, you do control, whatever will that be? Should it be a kind of document? What will be your measure? What will be your control? How you know that you're going too far? Or how do you know you're in the right direction? There's a need to always evaluate what we're doing. I know it's not easy, but at least maybe once a month you can just uh, you me time and just try to write things and see how it goes. After you already invite that catalyzation within yourself, you have more hunger. Nagugutom ka, di ba? It's um, XY theory that, that man simply is not satisfied. Di ba? It's like if you have a brand of a model of an iPhone, you always want to have the latest version. So you go further up and that is this time because you're already catalytic you now go out of your self influence and impact meet people harvest the minds your minds yung maginto no the reason why you meet people some of course no may not be a, a good meeting but at least there's a lesson after that but collaborate Go on your way, meet people that can collaborate with you, that could help you improve your plans. Contribute. Because when we're collaborating, mostly we want people with, you know, same level. But when you contribute, you are now extending to people lower than you. The marginalized, the poor, women who are discriminated, women who are in the low income level, women who are empowered should empower another woman. So contribute and network. Network is just speaking, it's just meeting. You know? Collaborate is engaging. You are now making formality on the type of projects that you collaborate. And every time you collaborate, you're adding up to your overall improvement as a person. And the sixth is actually the highest form. It's transcend and surpass. And I would like to use this word, monopolize. Be sure that this technology or whatever the service model you are using is so unique that you're the sole provider of this, of this kind of service, of this kind of interaction. Monopolize. Enjoy the monopoly as long as you can. That's innovation is all about, diba? We don't want to be doing the same thing other people are doing. We want to do something that we monopolize. We're the only one who can think of this solution. Think of this action. And to brave. Kasi minsan, pagka nandando ka na sa opportunities, parang, oh, I, I'm so overwhelmed. No, no, I cannot do this. No, if you are self-defining yourself. Kasi women nga eh, di ba? Parang some women like, like, like uh, lack that confidence. You have to brave it. Believe in yourself, brave it. It's okay to fail. Nung may isipin na, ay, baka ang dami magaling and I'm not. Kanina ka pa nasa level up and catalyze, di ba? So, ibig sabihin, kanina ka pa, kanina ka pa, or in the past ka pa, nag-equip ng sarili mo. Equipping yourself gives confidence. Then, relinquish. Para sa ba ito lahat? Tuho para di ba in a commercial? Para kanino ka bumabangon? Women are like that, di ba? They always think of others. This is a gift to, to others. Para saan yung pagbangon natin? 
for your kids, for the community, for your family, whoever. Relinquish. Be sure that somebody else is shadowing so that in case that you have to leave, somebody else will take over and that your past uh, initiatives will never put to waste. And then legislate, put into policy, put in traditions, put in good practice, put in manual, catalog it. Because it, you know, it makes sense to have something to look backwards to. Catalog the process, catalog your journey, write it. Amidst this is the two guiding principles that I'd like to share to you. Two important principles, laborum exercise or the spirituality of work and mulieris dignitatem or the dignity of women. Sabi ni laborum exercise means working is your key to go, going to heaven. It's not the key to make salary, no? It's the key for you to go to heaven. So whatever job you're into, be good at it. Mulieris dignitatem or dignity of women. Respect for women. And the women have to acknowledge that certain gifts that they have. That's why my logo, Eco Couture, is a heart shape because it has to follow that, that very concept. And for me, the heart is compassion or malasaki. 